Sage CRM 2021 R1 has introduced the ability to configure the internal Sage CRM email client to use OAuth 2 to connect to either Gmail, Google Workspace, or Microsoft 365 Exchange. Customers who are using Exchange or another email server on their own machines can continue to use basic authentication. There are some basic steps that must be followed where the Sage CRM is being configured to use Gmail or Exchange. Sage CRM has to be registered as an application for either Google or Active Directory. The Sage CRM application will then request that the user grants access to data in their Google or Exchange account. And after consent is given, the Sage CRM application will request and receive credentials to access either Gmail or Exchange and these credentials can then be updated or refreshed as necessary. This video will detail the integration with Gmail. A registered application must be created to allow you to obtain the public client ID and the private client secret. To do that, we must first make sure that the less secure app access is disabled in the Google account that owns the Gmail mailbox, for which you'll be configuring the OAuth 2 access. Here you can see that I've signed into the Google Cloud Platform. From there, I went into the APIs and services and created a new project. Uh, when I went uh, then next into the OAuth consent screen, I've selected external uh, and then clicked create to create a new app. Within the OAuth consent screen here, uh, I've filled in the required fields and then clicked save and continue. Uh, and within the scope step, I've added in the open ID scope, and then I click save and continue. This allows me to complete the remaining steps, and I've added in here a test user, and then saved. From the summary page, I can click on credentials and then click on uh, create credentials and then select uh, the OAuth client ID. Within the application type, I've selected web application and I can then provide the informative name for my application. Uh, and this has to be echoed back to me when we come to configure the email screen. In the authorized redirect URI, um, I've added in the following URL, all in lower case. You can see there that it's lower, local host, install name, custom pages, OAuth, callback.html. And install name is the name of the Sage CRM installation. All this is detailed within the help center and release notes for Sage CRM. Uh, note, um, if you're using uh, HTTPS, then use HTTPS within the URL. Then click Create. You can now copy the client ID and secret that's displayed and store them into a file. I, I actually drop them into a text editor. Once we have the client ID and secret, we can then th use these to configure the internal email client. Here you can see that I've logged into Sage CRM and I've navigating in, I'm navigating into the administration screens and from the administration area I need to select email and documents and then uh, email configuration. If I click change, I can opt to use OAuth2 for Gmail. Uh, and on this screen, um, I can see that I've entered in my client ID and secret before I press save. When I press save, I'm prompted to grant permission for my application to access the Gmail account. And once I've allowed that, um, I'm returned back to the configuration screen. The next thing that I have to do is to specify the outgoing mail server, the SMTP port for the Gmail application, and then I've also marked that as well for TLS as well. And you can see that I've also named the account to be used as well. And that completes the account setup. 